Hey YouTube, welcome back to Drago's World. In the last video, you saw us build the arms racing. And at the end of that video, I talked about having to move the pivot points down so we get some more up travel. We're going to move the pivot points down in this video, plus build the spindle brackets. So let's get started. Already marked out our location, made sure we have enough clearance, so let's get drawing. So we've got those four holes drilled. Here is a new arm bolted to the old pivot point. And here is a, also a new arm bolted to the new pivot point. So what differences do those four holes make? Here's the old pivot point. It only lifts up from the ground 7 eighths of an inch. It doesn't even go horizontal. It's still negative 4 degrees. Here's a new and improved pivot point. Doesn't burn off road sweetness. It lifts off the garage floor by six and a quarter inches. And goes past horizontal by 15 degrees. So what did those four holes get us? A gain of five and three eighths inches of up travel and 19 degrees of deflection. Well, now that we've got the pivot points right out, time to do the spindle brackets. I've got two side plates, one face plate. The side plates are pre-drilled. I've got a set here ready to be loaded up. So let's weld this sucker. These gloves are so cool. Here it is. Now you guys may be wondering, hey Drago, why does that weld look so horrible? Well see, I'm only 11. And we own the grinder, so it'll be okay.
think it looks better than my first one here. Although, I don't really think anybody's job is in jeopardy. We'll get these smoothed out. Check for any spots that need to be reloaded. And get these on the go cart to finish up the video. I bet you guys are wondering how these turned out. Here's one of them. We did do a cleanup on them. There were no cracks or holes. So I'm pretty happy with my first time loading. However, I am going to have my dad run a beat through the inside of it. Because, you know, safety third. I'll get this thing on the go kart and show you how it looks. Well, here's the front suspension with the go-kart sitting at a ride height of 12 inches. Believe it or not, the front suspension has more droop than this. It will actually go almost fully vertical. Catching! Foot sketches! Oh, hey. Here's the front suspension sitting on an old bucket. This is actually 12 inches higher than the one on the ground. And believe it or not, It'll go even higher. Up travel mission accomplished. We got a lot done in this video, but we still have a lot to do, including steering and shocks. So you might as well subscribe. While you're here, do me a favor and hit the like button. See you guys in the next video. Bye.